Good afternoon, everybody. The music fan here brings smiles to the faces, knowledge to the people, and most importantly, music to the masses. Uh, now, if you watch my channel in June, I dropped a video explaining my 10 favorite albums of the year so far, and a couple of them I had mentioned that I had not reviewed. So today and Monday, I'll be doing two Are You Ins based around two of those albums. Now today on Are You In, I'll be reviewing Judas Priest's newest album entitled Firepower. Uh, now for those of you who don't know the band, uh, they are a heavy metal band from West Bromwich, England. Current members include Ian Hall on bass, Rob Halford on lead vocals, Glenn Tipton on gu uh, guitars, keyboards, and backing vocals, Scott Travis on drums, and Richie Faulkner on guitars. Now they've had a lot of albums, so sit tight and uh, this will all be on the test, so pay attention. So the previous albums include Rock and Rolla in 74, Sad Wings of Destiny in 76, Sin After Sin in 77, Stained Class in 78, Killing Machine also in 78, British Steel in 1980, Point of Entry in 81, Screaming for Vengeance in 82, Defenders of the Faith in 84, Turbo in 86, Ram It Down in 88, Painkiller in 1990, Jugulator in 97, Demolition in 2001, Angel of Retribution in 2005, Nostradamus in 2008, and Redeemer of Souls in 2014. They've had a whole heck of a lot of CDs. Uh, some great, some panned, uh, some even without Rob Halford. Uh, but, um, this is actually the first full album of theirs I have ever listened to. I've known some of their big hits, uh, Electric Eye, uh, Got Another Thing Coming, Painkiller, uh, a lot of, you know, I know of them. I just never really listened to a lot of them. But I heard from my brother and I heard from a lot of people that this was a really good album of theirs. Uh, and I tend to agree on this. Uh, so what makes this really, really good? Uh, well, it doesn't really transcend the heavy metal nature that they have had over the years. You're not going to be blown away by something completely new from them. But this is a really, really solid album from beginning to end. You start with track the, the main track on the album, Firepower, which has a great energy energy to it it has some great drumming on it uh it, it's it's vintage 80s heavy metal at its finest um the drums are really cool on a lot of parts where they where they use the double bass pedals and even uh using them in a triplet fashion on the on the uh last chorus really good guitar solo rob halford sounds great on this song and it's a great way of kicking off this album uh, later on the, the album, you have uh, Rising From Ruins, uh, which is an awesome arrangement. A lot of these songs that I really like have really interesting arrangements to them. This one definitely has that vibe to it. it has some uh, a really cool intro part where it establishes this particular feel that they're trying to go for the song. Uh, it has an awesome dueling guitar solo uh, in the middle, and then it brings back that uh, the beginning idea uh, back into it at uh, right before the last chorus. Some really good vocal harmonies on there, and yeah, it's a, a very solid out, a song, and it, it has to be, honestly. It, it, to me, it's my number one, also just because of the build-up from the previous song, Guardians, which is an instrumental. It's one of the better intros I've heard this year, and it's like it just goes from this piano part to the full band and it transitions right into rising from ruins so even though like guardians isn't like an amazing song it's a really good interlude to the best song on the album and honestly the latter half of this album is much better to me than the beginning half uh traitor's gate uh has an an awesome feel to it. It has so much great energy. The bridge part is solid. The chorus melody is interesting to me. That energy throughout the song for as long as it is makes it great. Lone Wolf, uh, another one of these, it, it's a little bit slower but it's still heavy. It has this like sinister-ish 6-8 feel. It kind of feels a little bit like the latter half of Metallica but in a good way. And it has one of the best guitar souls, at least to me, on this album. Uh, Spectre, 
another one of these great ones. It's a, it's a single on the album, and it has another one of these slow, heavy feels to it. Uh, and it honestly, to me, feels one of the more uh, modern songs on the album. It doesn't have like a lot of, uh, you know, splashy drums. It doesn't have a lot of, you know, interesting guitar lines and fast guitar lines, but the, the guitar line itself is interesting enough. The melody isn't great, but the chorus to me is one of the best choruses on the album. Rounding out at least my, my favorite songs on here, Sea of Red. It's uh, the last song on the album. It's not the best closer ever, but it does well building. So this song starts very soft, probably the softest on the album, but it builds and builds even to this point where it has some off choruses. Overall, the overarching idea is one that you probably heard a lot on these grandiose heavy metal songs. The only thing that kind of brings it down is the vocals on this song. Rob Halford is using a, a vibrato that doesn't necessarily really work with him at his age and it shows even more that it doesn't sound great when he's basically trading with himself vocally in the bridge. It doesn't really work for me. And for it being, I believe, the longest song on the album, it does have a little bit of low points, but it's not a bad ender and it's still up there on the, the great half of this album. Even still, like most of the songs are still solid, but they aren't as great. Necromancer, great vibe to it, a lot of good energy. The Ghoulin guitar solos are fun. And even like the way that Rob Halford sings the chorus gives us this, this like eerie type of feel that I really like. Uh, and this is where maybe his detriments as a singer now work in his favor. But from there, you get to the more lackluster songs. Still solid, but lackluster. Evil Never Dies kind of feels like they were trying to go with an idea of more of a hard rock, kind of like uh, you've got another thing coming. And it doesn't do much in terms of an arrangement. There's a nice slowdown later in the song, but all in all, it's not a great song. And his high range on the song is all right, but it still feels weird. And then you got Lightning Strike, the one of the other singles on the album. Great feel, but I think it doesn't do much for me. Uh, it's kind of on these paint by number songs, at least. Uh, I like the flat two chord in the chorus. Uh, but Rob Halford's high end on this song sounds really bad. And it's weird that that the uh, consistency on this album is not there in terms of his high end. Uh, some of them sound great. There's an F sharp on Evil Never Dies, a really high one that he's able to hit. But Lightning Strike, for some reason, just sounds like he's garbled. And it just sounds really strained. And especially if you're doing that on a single, you would think that it would be better. But the arrangement itself is solid. Then you also have No Surrender, one of the other singles on this album. Again, another paint by numbers one. This is the shortest song on the album. It's kind of like, oh yeah, we have a riff, we have a solo in the middle. We have uh, Rob Halford doing some high stuff. And it's talking about, uh, you know, never giving up, not surrendering. Pretty standard song, nothing nothing new to it. Children of the Sun, not bad, uh, but it doesn't really change up throughout the arrangement. I like the idea at the beginning, but because it doesn't change that much, nothing else I can really say. Never the Heroes kind of sounds like a load or reload-ish kind of song in the Metallica era, but it doesn't do much with the idea behind it. To me, the weakest song in this album is Flamethrower. I don't like a lot of the arrangement. I don't like the, the cheesiness of a lot of the song, especially in the chorus. And to me, I can't really listen to it. Um, that's but that's honestly the only one that I can't really listen to because this is a f the album itself really solid has a lot of pacing um, and a lot of change throughout the album so it's not always really high energy there's a lot of times where there is a little bit less speed a little bit more heaviness um, so it doesn't always feel like it's the same song it does feel like a cohesive album and a lot of songs that are spaced out to give you some good songs in between some of the mediocre songs. I will say the latter half is much better than the beginning half, uh, but all in all, I'll listen to the whole album. And honestly, I'm not really going to talk about the lyrics. They're very heavy metal, standard, you know, the idea of 
uh, fighting the idea of war, the idea of evil. You can really sum up each of these lyrics into like one short sentence. You're not getting anything new to this formula. Pretty standard in, in the, the lyrics, but the music behind it is solid. It really captures that, that feel that you get from Metallica, from Megadeth, from all these bands like Judas Priest itself. It's a very solid album. Uh, even if it is an hour long, it's really solid. I would listen to it again. I really, really enjoy it. I would say listen to it at least once. If you're a heavy metal fan, listen to it multiple times. It, it's that good. Uh, I don't know if it's necessarily back in my top 10. I've listened to a lot since June, but it's definitely going to be in my top 50, probably my top 25 at least. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this. Um, if you do enjoy it, please let me know what you think about this album or other albums that you would like me to review. Also, like the video, uh, subscribe to my channel, share this with your friends, and most importantly, just keep watching my videos. Now, tomorrow I'll be doing the seventh and final part of the Linkin Park discography, and then I will be on Monday talking about another actually heavy metal-ish album um, that was in my top 10 in June, and we'll see if it still sticks there. But until then, this is The Music Fan signing off. Peace.